Hi students, I think you are just very fine this time and uh, uh, you are healthy and uh, in good state of mind. We have been fighting uh, against this uh, particular situation all due to Corona but uh, just examination is approaching us so uh, we have lots of tension as well but we need not uh, make any tension for this region because uh, this time we are just uh, here uh, for our discussion with a very important chapter entitled now I am Dr. Naveen Kumar Jha, Associate Professor in English, RAGS College, Ahlia Asthan, Dhanga. Uh, when we utter the word noun, it simply refers to the naming word. You know, just uh, it uh, is the um, uh, just a naming process which makes the thing known to us. You know, whatever. Uh, things uh, we have made or we have known they uh, are named to be known you know so naming words may include all kinds of things we have here things uh, of concrete or and abstract nature uh, we also have things of visible and invisible nature we can say that we have uh, things uh, divided into solid liquid and gas status Really uh, speaking, we have things which are real, there are some things which are imaginary. So when we look at the things or um, uh, the objects that we have invented or known are of many many types, of many many natures. Uh, no matter whatever the nature of uh, uh, those nouns uh, is, but uh, they need naming because they are to be known. You know, because this uh, world is full with uh, uh, just many kinds of, many types of things. And if there will be no name, it will be uh, very difficult for us to know that thing. And uh, simply, uh, we cannot uh, make the idea uh, sure about the thing that uh, we want to speak without giving meaning to such things. So, we can say, uh, it is a noun which makes us know are uh, the objects uh, rather we are also in existence we are also a personality but uh, we are known first by our name or when uh, we utter a name particularly an image is formed in the mind of uh, the listener so suppose uh, we want to utter the word like dog this is uh, what we can call a word that is a noun and it makes an image in the mind of the listener that okay there is uh, an animal uh, having four feet and uh, this kind of uh, traits and so on so we are just going to assemble all the traits and feasible features of dog when we utter the name and uh, uh, all these things are included into one word dog so it is uh, uh, in this way that uh, we try to describe the word and um, uh, it makes us know the words in a very feasible manner. So uh, th this is what the importance of noun is this. You know, uh, we have divided words into, uh, it's a part of a speech, traditionally speaking now. Uh, we have another grounds of division, the words also, and on the basis of the function of the words, you know, now um, just modern linguists have divided noun into many, many parts. But here we stick to our uh, classification of uh, words uh, in terms of conventional um, process. Uh, and uh, so just uh, out of the eight part of a speech, you know, we can say noun is the most important uh, part of a speech because, uh, um, you know, um, the major portion of the lexicography or dictionary uh, is made of the nouns, you know. So here we can simply um, uh, say that all nouns are not of the same nature. We cannot say that uh, all nouns uh, are just uh, similarly uh, known to us. There are little bit of difference. There are little bit of variations within the nouns. So uh, we have uh, divided nouns into 
uh, five types for our better and feasible understanding of all those kinds of nouns. So they are just named proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun and material noun. So these are all uh, five types of uh, um, noun that uh, uh, grammarians have divided on the basis of their nature on the basis of uh, just uh, the explanations that the grammarians have made about those nouns. But we can say uh, this is uh, just a way of understanding the noun that we have divided noun into five uh, parts. Now coming to proper noun we can say that uh, it is uh, just a noun uh, which is proper to one particular person, place, animal, uh, river, sea, ocean, etc. You know, uh, when we know something, you know, uh, we try to give name to that kind of thing. And uh, just suppose when a child is born, just uh, it is a new uh, personality which has been included into our family. But uh, uh, here we need naming that child uh, by which uh, just uh, we try to make him know and we also know him. And uh, it is uh, with this kind of uh, a naming process that child also lives throughout the life. So uh, when uh, just uh, a new place uh, uh, is uh, settled somewhere or maybe um, just uh, a new uh, place is growing up due to certain uh, commercial regions or due to certain uh, religious regions, you know, that uh, there have been many theories of development of places. Uh, but whatever is the region, that is another thing, but we just also require to name that thing, that it would be known among uh, just uh, the people. And people can be sure of uh, the same just a place um, by the name that you are giving to it. So likewise, we can say that uh, naming of a person, place, animal, sea, river, oceans are simply referred to as proper uh, noun so we can say that it is uh, very much a specific we cannot say that uh, it is general you know just uh, we give a name to one thing only just uh, and by uh, just uh, a name only one thing is identified uh, maybe of that name there are so many things but uh, when we utter just uh, in a particular situation in particular name it uh, tends to give us one particular kind of idea in our mind, you know. So, uh, you know, it is, it is why it is called the, uh, uh, the point that the proper noun is only specific. You know, suppose uh, we are just uttering the name Ronnie. Uh, and uh, there are five Ronnie's just standing before us. But uh, uh, we are just uh, trying to uh, just call only one Ronnie. So then it becomes difficult for us, you know, uh, to just uh, give the name Ronnie for all uh, the people standing before us. And when we call Ronnie, all people may come, you know, there is a possibility of that kind of thing. So even then uh, we try to make a specification among five Ronnie's who are standing just before us. So what, what do you want to say that we, there are five uh, persons named Ronnie, but when we try to uh, call one particular Ronnie, uh, we just uh, uh, give some extra remarks with the name Ronnie 1, Ronnie 2, Ronnie 3, likewise, that uh, uh, the name may be specific. And then uh, we call, okay, Ronnie 3, just uh, bring a glass of water. And so here, uh, all Ronnie's are not going to bring a glass of water. Simply one Ronnie goes and uh, who is uh, named Ronnie 3 and brings a glass of water. So uh, it is just uh, uh, seen uh, in this world that uh, maybe uh, just one name is given to many, many persons, to many, many things. But even then there is a specific, specific, speciality and uh, there is a special status of the name uh, which is uh, referred to one particular kind of thing only. Uh, it will be known, uh, not applicable for all the things, you know. So uh, it is what uh, a specification of thing is there when we are talking about a uh, proper noun. And we can say that uh, especially um, in English that uh, maybe proper noun is meaningful or proper noun is not meaningful. Uh, the basic intention behind giving the name to a thing is just to know that thing. 
by that name. Sometimes we can say we are very deliberate, deliberately giving the name, um, just uh, uh, depending on uh, analysis of the feature of that thing and in this way we are just going to name that kind of thing. But most often it happens that uh, uh, there is no uh, clear thought uh, behind all these kind of things. Uh, just now I have uh, talked about the uh, name like Ronnie. Uh, just uh, so I don't know what does it mean, you know, to me. Uh, just accept the thing that it is a name to a person. Uh, but uh, maybe uh, we just uh, we are giving someone name like Roj. Uh, it has certain meaning also. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, just it is very interesting uh, that uh, in interview uh, you are asked, suppose your name is Ravi. Just uh, how can you explain your word uh, Ravi? Okay, uh, then... Uh, we are just going to explain the meaning of the actual word Ravi and uh, um, just uh, we are asked to um, just uh, prove whether you are uh, like Ravi which is just really in the uh, uh, sky or just there is a difference in your nature. So likewise uh, Chanda suppose is the name that uh, uh, some uh, girl has been given and uh, just in an interview or some somewhere else uh, just uh, that girl is asked, okay, uh, you are Chanda, so you may be cool your temperament because uh, it is what the nature of Chanda is that it remains always cool. So what, what, what do you find here? Here, just uh, when uh, we analyze the meaning of the proper noun, um, just uh, we sometimes try to uh, make a, a similar kind of um, trait and we try to find similar kind of trait in the person. Uh, who is just uh, called by that name. So because of the thing uh, that it has certain meaning and uh, that uh, meaningful word has been just uh, given name to someone else. But uh, uh, just, uh, uh, I just I have told you that it is not always the case that all proper nouns are meaningful. It doesn't uh, have any um, relation with meaning. We cannot say uh, that we are making proper noun for any particular a kind of meaning to that thing except the identification of the thing you know uh, as I think that uh, there is a major uh, you know interest in naming the thing that is uh, to identify the thing it is not to give any meaning to the thing you know maybe it is uh, uh, just uh, uh, meaningful or it is not meaningful uh, so most often you find uh, that uh, both may be the situations, but our purpose remains uh, very much there uh, that it has uh, just a certain um, uh, um, aspect to identify something. Now, uh, most of you, we are also uh, just uh, saying that uh, uh, proper noun has uh, not the same pattern of writing. You know, even in a uh, written form, we find that uh, uh, there is no same spelling uh, for the proper noun to write, you know, suppose uh, my name is Navin, uh, someone may write by N-A-V-I-N, it is also correct and someone may write by N-A-V-E-N, this is also correct and uh, we can say someone may write by N-A-W-I-N, you know, or somebody may write by N-A-V-I-N also, you know, so uh, or in Hindi also, uh, most often you find that someone is writing by no, e and no, and someone is writing by no, haras e and no. Uh, when uh, we, we are thinking that you, you are not writing correctly when you are writing no, vahars e, vi or no, uh, because uh, it is not the correct spelling from Hindi point of view, we say no, no, I am not talking of Naveen means new. In that sense, so we are writing no, vahadrigi or no. Here I am talking of no, vahars e or no only because of uh, the fact that I want to call someone by that word. Uh, so it doesn't have any kind of uh, just uh, a spelling pattern to follow up there. Yes, if uh, you are very much uh, saying that uh, you have uh, just uh, named someone, uh, keeping in mind the view that uh, by now in it is uh, new, you know, uh, then okay, we say that no, vadrigi, vi, and no will be correct. Uh, but when you see that it is just name that I have given without consideration of the meaning that that is, it is just to know him, it is just to identify him, then uh, this spelling does not uh, matter. Likewise, we can say in uh, English, uh, we have uh, Dilip Trophy, you know, and uh, most often you find that uh, there is uh, uh, 
the spelling pattern d u l w e p uh, i do not find any reason behind writing that kind of a spelling for dilip uh, trophy but it is the name of a trophy given and it is a proper noun so we may not raise any question as to the correctness of a spelling of this word and we cannot say oh you have written incorrect spelling when you have said d u l w e p rather you should write d i l i p or uh, you should write d w e l i p and something like that you know so that uh, kind of correctness uh, so far as a uh, spelling is concerned is not permissible you know uh, into your writing and uh, it is uh, a strange way of writing uh, the name of the people you know it is up to your um, decision it is up to your intention it is up to your choice that uh, you are going to write the spelling of the word uh, without being little concerned with its meaning and so on uh, but most often you find in sanskrit there is a different situation in sanskrit uh, mostly uh, whatever name is there it is supposed that that name should be meaningful you know either it is good meaning or it is not good meaning uh, it is another point um, sometime we can say uh, that uh, there are names uh, which are just uh, humorous also uh, uh, there are names which are just uh, um, not a good one we can say in the sense that it has a negative denotation so uh, uh, sanskrit uh, grammarians have always tried to give the name uh, in uh, consideration with the meaning of that person you know here uh, just uh, um, it is another kind of ideology and philosophy that is uh, behind giving the name to a person to a thing that it should be meaningful uh, and so but uh, you know meaning may be of any type maybe of a, a positive denotation or negative denotation but there is uh, in most of the cases certain meaning uh, we can talk about the noun like uh, ram sudan you know here in sanskrit now it means a uh, killer of ram you know uh, from a hindu mythology or religious point of view this name uh, is not going to be a good one because it has negative denotation uh, just uh, ram is supposed to be our ideal and uh, we do not like a person who may kill ram and something like that you know the followers of hindu cannot see that uh, there should be person uh, who is allowed to kill uh, ideal like ram and something like that and here uh, we can say rather ram was not killed um, according to the ramayana and something like that so uh, here uh, despite the fact that uh, it is uh, full with uh, just a negative denotation um, but uh, most people are named by ram shudan you know so it is not uh, you know another um, uh, way of uh, um, joking that man or just uh, uh, something like that so uh, um, uh, we may we may talk in that way uh, so whatever the things are behind the proper noun but uh, most of most of you find that uh, uh, to me it should be uncountable noun because it is the name of only one person one name is uh, um, just uh, concerned with one pe- person maybe there are many many people by my name navin but uh, now they do not mean new in all the cases when uh, we are talking uh, the people like navin and i am concerned with that name uh, in your mind there is a different image of my personality because name is helpful in making the image of the person or personality you know it creates an image you know by image we can say by which it is made you know by the elements by which it is made when we are talking about the name of person it is biological elements that we are considering it is uh, physical elements that you are considering it is um, a spiritual or just uh, educational uh, images which are concerned you know all these things you know uh, we can say that uh, maybe one navin navin is an is officer and another navin is uh, just uh, a simple farmer so both are having the same name but uh, uh, when we are uttering the name navin we find that yes uh, our concern is not the same we are not uh, trying to talk about the same thing because uh, uh, in my in our mind when uh, we are talking about uh, a farmer by that name navin there is an another image that he is uneducated he is working in the field and he belongs to village and uh, uh, he is not rich enough and uh, maybe he's short in height 
uh, or that maybe in, in, who is an IS officer is very tall, smart, you know, uh, well educated and everything. So these are all the points which are making two Nabins different. Although it has the same name, but uh, these are remarkable things uh, which make two Nabins different. And so it is uh, in this way we can say that it is uncountable. That it is only singularly used. Uh, and uh, our purpose uh, uh, for that moment is singularly used. And we cannot say that uh, um, all Naveens have the same purpose to serve for us. No, we cannot say because all Naveens uh, do not have the same elements of, of which uh, they are made and uh, they are known and they are identified and so on. Uh, so maybe there is a, a scientist uh, who, who is uh, just uh, uh, making something uh, for the welfare of the people, but by the same name, another scientist is making something for the destruction of society also. So, by the same name, uh, scientists are doing two different works, and so our image uh, of two different scientists are different, but uh, we are just going to have the same name, but uh, simply we can say that uh, it has uh, been a very um, good way of talking about that thing. So, this is what uh, I, I just uh, uh, we have discussed about uh, proper name today. Now tomorrow I will just try to uh, understand uh, how many things are to be just uh, known as proper nouns and uh, we can explain all these uh, um, areas which are simply covered by the proper nouns and so on. I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture. Uh, just in general because uh, this kind of description we do not find in any grammar book and somewhere else uh, and I have tried to understood that proper noun uh, from uh, my understanding point of view. I hope that you should also try to um, understand this thing from your understanding point of view also. Uh, thank you. That is the real purpose of education.